This might be the craziest opening I've ever done on the channel. We're gonna be opening a $1 Magic the Gathering booster pack and work our way all the way up to a $100 Magic the Gathering booster pack. There's gonna be a variety of sets to open up and I want you guys to guess in the comment section before I crack open the envelopes what you think the set is going to be on the inside. Before we get into this video, remember to smash that like button and let's get this party started. Here is the $1 booster pack here. I want you guys to guess. I want you guys to guess what booster pack do you think this is going to be? Let's see. Did you guess right? Yes, it's the Dollarama booster pack. So this is like a repack that they get. It's kind of like mostly bulk cards. I, I'm not sure how they actually get these. My guess is like a big retailer kind of just sends them to them. It's like overstock or just bulk. It's just a convenient way for stores to get rid of their stuff. And that is all on the other side. So there's a common there, really, there's no rhyme or reason for these. You just randomly find a rare in here. That is kind of cool. We have two Death Rattles. That's one of the first times I've ever seen uh, future side cards in there. Not bad. The older, the better. So we got Mind Flare. Not bad, actually. That is from Commander Legends Battle for Boulder's Gate. And I believe that is pretty much it. Yeah, that's it. You only get one rare in one of these packs. So that is it. So moving on. Now we're going to be opening up a $3 Magic the Gathering booster pack. Guess what's inside, guys. I want you to leave a guess down below in the comment section before I get into this. What's your guess? What's your guess? There we go. It is Crimson Vow. This is a draft booster of Crimson Vow. $3 on TCG Player. Let's see what we get inside. Okay. So we got a Halana and Elena partner. So nothing really good here, unfortunately, but you're kind of expecting that, to be honest, with Crimson Vow. $5, we got a $5 booster pack. What do you think is gonna be inside here? $5. A step up from Crimson Vow, maybe it's an older one, or maybe a set booster. Let me know if you got it right in the comments. Yes, it's a return, <laughs> I was gonna say return to Ravnica. Ravnica Allegiance, wrong Ravnica set. Ravnica Allegiance, $5, I think return to Ravnica would be a little more expensive, maybe about six or seven dollars right now on TCG player. So let's go through here. We can actually get some shock lands in here. And uh, there's actually some decent commons like Persistent Petitioners, which we did not get. There's actually some decent uncommons like that right there. Wilderness Reclamation. So jot that one down. And we've got a ooh, Rick's Mighty Reveler. So nothing good there, unfortunately. We're moving up to $10 now. $10 Magic the Gathering booster pack. Let's take a guess. What's on the inside? I almost forgot what's in some of these because when I did pack these up, it was like a few weeks ago and they've just been sitting there because I've been waiting for like booster packs to come in as I order them online from Face to Face Games. And it's a Masters 25 pack here. One of the last Master sets before they took that massive break and then they kind of brought it back now with like Commander Masters and before that Ultimate Masters and then it was Double Masters. So there is some good cards in here. Dark Ritual is one of those good cards. Good, un, uh, It's a good common in this set. Okay, we got Congregate there. Pyroclasm. And our rare is a Pernicious Deed. It's actually not a bad rare, but not quite what you want to see in a $10 booster pack, unfortunately. 15! 15, 15! We're opening a $15 Magic the Gathering booster pack in here. Can you guys guess what's inside? Is it a collector booster? What do you guys think? If it is a collector booster, Take a guess on which one it is. It is a Commander Legends Battle for Boulder's Gate. Ooh, you know, it's there's a lot of swing and a miss with these. I really hope that we get one of the Ancient Dragons. So far, I have to say, we haven't gotten much, but we're really still working up to the sauce right now. So let's see what is inside here. Okay. What is going to be our first rare in this pack? We got Raised by Giants. That's not really what I want to see. And then we got the Tome. Basilisk Caller, that's actually a pretty cool reprint. We got Merkel Lord of Bones. Next up is a Shadow Heart Dark Justice here. Miram Sentinel Worm, and that is it. So, swing and a miss with that one. But we got the $25 booster pack right now. So far, we need some value back because we're not getting it with the booster packs we have now. But something tells me we're gonna get lucky here. Can you guys guess what booster pack is gonna be inside here? It is. Throne of Eldrain, beautiful collector booster. These are the very first Magic the Gathering collector booster packs. There is a ton of value in this set. It was so broken when it came out that it caused so much bans and standard. It was crazy and some of the bans went all the way down to Legacy. So let's see what we get inside here today. Order of Midnight, I love the foiling on that. 
We got the Pixie, another Order of Midnight. Silver Flame Squire. And then we get a Merchant of the Veil. So they really didn't know what they were doing with these collector packs at first. So it's really odd. It, it's, it, it's an experience compared to the newer ones. So we got a rare here. It's a Knight's Charge, not bad. And then we got a Mythic. Robber of the Rich. This was actually really expensive at one point. Not so much anymore, though. Not as much as it was in standard. And then we get a Fabro Elder. So we actually did get an extended art foil. Not the one you want to see, but nonetheless, these are actually very rare. You can only get like three to four extended art foils per collector box back in the day. Now you get like, what, two or two of them per collector pack. So not as exciting anymore, but we are getting into something exciting right now. We are getting into a $50 Magic the Gathering booster pack. What do you guys think is inside? Can you guess why it's a massive envelope? I want to know if you guys can guess why. This one is a hard one to cut into. It's a big boy. This is a big, big envelope. Can you guess what is on the inside? It is a Shards of Alara foil premium pack. This is before they had collector booster packs. I feel like this is a part of the idea behind it. These are basically a, an entire foil booster pack. Crazy, crazy stuff here. So let's open this up. Oh, they uh, really packed them with care back then. Are we actually, oh my God, this is just coming apart in pieces. There we go. Let's get this thing out of here. My God, this is just crazy. What an experience. First time I've ever opened this booster pack on the channel, so if you do appreciate these videos, please do like. Ooh, there we go, we got some of that sticky glue on the side there. All right, look at that. 15 card premium foil booster pack. Okay, let's see what we get. There is a lot of value in this set. Hopefully we get lucky here. Oh my God, I am very nervous about this one because the next one is gonna be the $100 booster pack and I don't think we got anywhere near our value back. So we really are hoping for something good in this pack. We got Angel Song there. We got Spell Snip, the Thunder Star Steward of Valadin, and then we have uh, Guardians of Araska, Exploding Borders, the Wandering Goblins, and the Cattle Outlier. We have the uh, Soul Manipulation, the Sigil of Nyan Gods, Fate Stitcher, there you go. That's actually a good uncommon. I think it's around $10 for this foil, so we're getting some value back here. We get Spore Burst, and then we get Unbender Tyne. Ooh, one six. Wall of Reverence, that's pretty cool. That is actually really cool. And I think that is the land next. Yes, Swamp. So. Not a bad booster pack. That was a walk down memory lane. I've never done that on the channel, but now we're getting into something really crazy. And it fits with the purple hoodie. We got our $100 booster pack. I want you guys to leave a comment before you see this and let me know what you think is gonna be inside here. I'll give you one hint before I open this up. One hint, that is purple was not just a coincidence. There's a reason why I picked a purple envelope. That's the hint right there. Oh my god, guys, we are opening up a booster pack of the dark, one of Magic the Gathering's very first sets. This is a treat for me to do on the channel. If you really like these videos, I want to do it again, but next time, maybe a $200 booster pack. If you want to see that, let me know down below in the comment, but of course, leave a like on this video. This is history in the making, guys. The oldest booster pack I've ever opened on the channel, it is happening right now. Oh my God, and there is no going back. There is no going back. I have broke the seal. We have Brothers of Fire here. Ragman, oh my God, I just love the artwork on these older ones. 1994, we got Goblins of the Flarg. Next up, Saving Elves. Slow roll on this one, we got a Fisher. Next up, Brainwash. And then we get a Goblin Rock Sled. I think there's one more left. It is blue. Ooh, deep water. Okay, so we didn't get anything really crazy in that pack, unfortunately, but ugh, nonetheless, what a treat to open up. The most expensive card actually in the dark is not even a reserveless card. It's the original printing of Blood Moon, which is a really good card across a variety of formats. Anyways, guys. That is it, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, again, leave a like down below. Let me know what your favorite pack that we open on today's video down below in the comment section. With that being said, I'll see you in the next one.
use promo code MattCaster for 5% off your order at Face to Face Games, Canada's largest Magic the Gathering store. Qualified orders get free shipping Canada wide if you use our promo code MattCaster at checkout. Whether you're buying singles or sealed product, use our code to support the show and get a discount.